Good morning, gardeners. It's Sunday, and I think it's August 23rd. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so confused on the date lately. Just thought I'd take a little shot of my screen porch garden this morning before I water. Not a ton going on here. I ha I'm seeing like roots and growth and stuff. Uh, not a ton of blooms right now, but. My poor plants at the time, they needed probably a lot of fertilizer and stuff is when I kind of took a hiatus. I'm going to check on these. And that was uh, right after the scale. I oh, see something white here. I hope that's just, you know, fertilizer salts. And it kind of looks to be... I'll have to keep a check on him because on this particular plant, the scale got way in there. And this guy was severely damaged by the scale. And he hasn't really got his color back. I don't know if he'll make it. I hope he does. This is my Bud Spence orchid. Not replaceable. This might be a piece of Bud Spence. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it is, though. And the... Um, Obsidian that I put on this mount seems to be taking to it. It's been there a while. It's a little light colored, but you know, it's been sunny. This guy, I'll see if I can kind of, this is not a good zoom camera, but you see he's got these roots coming out here. And when I put him on there, he had hardly any roots. So he's so far up, I'm not. Probably not keeping as good a watch on him as I should. Okay, let me get the sun to come in the right way. So my previously known as Schomburkia, I can't say the new name, uh, <laughs> seems to have recovered from the scale attack. He's looked better in his lifetime, but you know. And this plant, which I don't, I'm not positive what he is. I think I remember his blue. Oh, it's going to be too dark. There we go. Um, I think I remember his bloom. But I just never know about him. This one is from Todd's Tropical. And he's doing pretty good. He's a Florida guy. So, you know, he, he didn't move very far. And this one is doing excellent. All the growth is on the side that's harder to film. Oh, it gets so dark in here. There we go. I think my orchids would benefit from a higher light situation. Other people are always trying to, you know, use shade cloths, block some light. I think mine actually need it. Hopefully this guy will bloom this fall, maybe. I haven't seen him bloom in a couple of years. He wasn't happy, I guess. My little five dendrobiums from, I think, Carmela's. Oh, yeah, the great bonsai experiment. <laughs> Not so good, but it's trying to do something on its own. I don't know. I'm just leaving it alone. I think I'll probably almost always have <laughs> dendrobiums blooming. They just, they love my screen porch. Even when things aren't going good. Look at this little cakey here. Yep. That one's scent. And I guess my very favorite one, I must have moved it outside or else it hasn't, hasn't bloomed yet, is the, it's kind of Kind of this color, but that and white. I love that. Overall, my oncidiums, oh, some are looking good, some are not. I don't know if it's too much light. I don't know what's going on with them. But they bloom. That's the weird part. They are blooming and have bloomed. Yep, this one, the bloom is going down here. It's uh, probably on its last days of the bloom. But he's pretty. So, let's move on. 
These have lots of what I'm just going to call, not really seedlings, but you know, starts, small pieces. Oh, this one. I thought I saw some a root there. You see it? I don't usually wear fingernail polish, but for some reason I did. Um, and then one here. I just, I think this is might be trying to root and see this green coming up there. Yeah. I have not been having good luck with these type of mounts. Maybe I don't water often enough for that. If I had an automatic watering system or something, yeah, this one's not looking so hot either. I try to water them every day. Same with this one. I think I'm just better with things in pots. In fact, now the sun's coming. It's kind of, you know, going. This one didn't make it. I threw it off, threw it away. Um, and I am going to shop for a new one for there. I thought about going today to Artstone in St. Pete, but I don't know. We'll see. And this one seems to be doing okay. We got a little bit of color on like that. But this could have been from when it had scale. It didn't have a lot of scale. I caught it, the scale, when it was just starting to attack this plant. This guy looks pretty good. This one pseudobulb's a little, looks like it fainted. <laughs> but the others look okay and we got lots of new leaves. This guy, no. He's, mm -mm, but he's got this coming out. And this guy, I don't know. Not so good with these. New, new leaves on Phalaenopsis. Shiny new green leaves. Same here. Same here, and here, and here, and there. Uh, he's turning, this guy's turning a little bit yellow over here. Actually, I turned the pot, so the green side's toward the window more now. This guy was all upside down. Thank you, Rat Terrierks. Kiki's still hanging on there. Had a big, my um, Orchid Society had a show and sale or sale. Yeah, I guess just a sale yesterday. I didn't make it. Had too many other things to do. And Bulbophyllums. I think they look better than they have in a while. They get a lot of drip from all the bandas above them. And my Mimi Palmer is still Let's see if I can get her. Uh, no, it's gonna be dark. But there she is in silhouette. <laughs> she was on last week's. Not that early in the morning, but but it's not too late afternoon. There we go. That's pretty shy. I can smell her from here. Smells a bit like grape jelly to me. Um, it's not until late afternoon that the sun hits the vanda wall over here. Well, that is my garden shop for today. Like I said, not a lot going on. Hair plant's still alive there. This one is, I've had a long time, and it's pretty big. And then the ones I put on one of these, doing good, but the one on the bottom just doesn't want to stay in there. I don't know. Maybe I'm not meant to grow plants on totems. You know, some people have done a good job at it. I think just I just might do a good job of getting them rooted and started, maybe. I do now. If you have secrets to using totems, let me know. I'm about ready to change them into just air plants, so. Alright, well, let me sign off with my um, Cyclia tampensis.
Have a good week, gardeners.